Yesterday when I came back from the mall, I realized that I left my phone in the Uber. Bag milk. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Initially I was just getting this to like wear around, but I could totally use this for a shoe. So I know two castings so far and the girls are just so nice. Also at Zara, they had these shoes on sale for like 23 bucks. <laughs> Today is Thursday and I'm on my way to a casting. It's about 9.15 a.m. and um, I can be there between 10 and 1 so I just wanted to get there early to help me get up. I'm still trying to get adjusted to the time. Um, some days I feel like I have it and then other days I just feel like I need to rest. So far since I've been here I've had a casting every day which is pretty cool. If you don't know what a casting is it's usually just an audition for clients to see you to see if they want to book you for the particular job and on average between one out of every 10, sometimes one out of every 20 castings that you go to, you book one gig. So it's really just a numbers game. Anyway, I added some light curls to my hair today. I actually don't really like them that much. I'm um, trying to get used to that flat iron, but I'll continue to practice on my weave. But let me finish putting on my clothes and then let's head on over. I have to take an Uber over there because it's like a two hour walk, but a 20 minute drive. <laughs> I'm home for my casting. It went okay. I've been on two castings so far in person and the girls are just so nice, which I'm not used to in terms of like the other models that are usually like also being casted. Two girls were there, they greeted me with a hug and introduced themselves. But I'm always appreciative of in-person castings because it's a great way to network. After my casting, I went over to a place called Bootleggers, which seems to be like a chain here, kind of similar to, I don't want to say Starbucks because they serve food but it's like very cute and very inexpensive but everything here is inex inexpensive and then I ate a salmon bagel and a mocha latte and then I just got changed so I'm gonna do a little reel for Instagram or some photos or something just to make sure I'm keeping my social media while I'm here I'll show you guys my outfit here is the fit the top is from Abercrombie the this necklace is from Etsy this one is from Forever 21 um this big gold ring is from the Zara in Spain and I just like this is my first time wearing it and it's already messed up. I don't know what happened. This ring here is from a vendor in Chicago, just like a little small shop. Bag is Balenciaga, pants are Mason Margiela, and then these shoes are from Zara. Then after me and my friend do some content, we're just gonna run some errands and I'm gonna work on some mood boards for some shoots that I have set up next week and like really organize this room. Like I have not unpacked properly so everything is just like a mess i will check in with you guys in a little bit just made it home after i did a little content with my friend we went over to the grocery store to get some groceries so i'm gonna show you guys what i got got some granola that i'm gonna put in my yogurt which i've already bought a few days ago got some peanut butter i got instant hot chocolate i got this wine and we believe this is the wine we had the other day when we were eating by the waterfront and it was the best white wine I've ever had. So we're hoping this is the same one. I got a frozen pizza and this is barbecue chicken. I'm probably gonna have wine and pizza tonight. I got some watermelon, instant noodles, this tropical and berry duo. I think it's a uh, pineapple and blueberries. And then my friend said she got these coconut tea biscuits and she was like, they were amazing. So I wanted to try some too. I'm gonna have some tea in the morning and I was a little naughty and got a Pepsi. And then the other day when I went to the grocery, I picked up this tea. This is like a ginger tea. And then I had got some double cream salted caramel flavored yogurt, some egg, and then this is some leftover Moroccan food. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finally finish unpacking properly. And then we're gonna just take a little walk to get us some steps in. And then I'm gonna work on some mood boards for some shoots I have coming up next week and then hopefully relax so i have a casting tomorrow i need to make sure like i'm well rested for that but i will see you guys later oh, yeah. <laughs> just got back to my place i changed to my hoodie because you would have thought we were in chicago it is so windy outside today but we are going to run to the mall to get some wardrobe for some shoots that we have coming up but yeah i'll check in with you guys later <laughs>
I just made back from the mall and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Now this dress I actually bought in my last video and I had mentioned to you guys that in the next video I would show you the dress. So this is the dress but I ended up needing to get a smaller size. So initially I got a small but um, I needed an extra small. But I love this one because um, it's like a bandana dress. It's from H&M here. And it has these like little beads at the shoulder and then there's also a slit in the dress. And then it has some kind of beads going down. Initially, I was just getting this to like wear around, but I could totally use this for a shoe. So this next thing I am obsessed with. It is literally me in an outfit because, first of all, it's monochromatic. I love a good monochromatic look. It's in a unique color. And then it's a bomber jacket. And then it's this really soft, just um, a liney skirt. And I got these shoes to go with it. So I'm going to do this for um, a photo shoot. I don't know if I'm going to do it for the ones I have next week. But definitely just need to have some outfits on deck. Because it's very stressful. Um, constantly having to be your own stylist, your own makeup artist, your own hairstylist, etc. And then it also gets frustrating just constantly having to invest your own money into this. But being a model at the end of the day is the model's like personal brand and business. So, And then actually these shoes I got from this store called Mr price and I thought these would be great for a photo shoot I actually have a black dress I think I would want to wear this with that I have here and it has like a strong shoulder pad and I thought this would be cute and these shoes were only six bucks so I'm going to be shopping here more to get more wardrobe just to have on deck and then hopefully like with a lot of the stuff I can take back and then the last thing I got were these earrings and I'm going to order a dress from Zara they only have it on the Zara online but it's going to go with that dress for a shoot that I'll Hopefully have the dress in time for next week and then I'll be able to return that dress once I shoot in it. But yeah, definitely just need to have clothes here so I can start shooting in this stuff and help to build up my portfolio and hopefully start to get me some actual bookings. But low shedding is about to start in an hour so let me charge up a few things and I'm going to do some editing and I'll see you guys later. Morning, today is Saturday and today is a chill day. Sorry I keep wearing this hat. I'm trying to work on just trying to stay a little low key and I don't wanna be bothered with my hair every day, especially with me not having the right tools to do it. But me and my friend are about to head over to a place called Clark's on Bree Street to have brunch because on the weekends they have 25 Rand mimosas. I am gonna do a video um, probably next week just showing you guys how inexpensive everything is. I didn't realize how inexpensive everything was with it being my first week here because everything is like, 500 rand, 1,000 rand, whatever. So in my head, like when you see those big numbers, you just automatically think it's like it's pricey. And then as I kept doing conversions, as I was getting stuff, I was like, the stuff is really, really inexpensive. But anyway, let me get my stuff and let's get going to Clark's. So we are getting our mimosas in, and the last time we came we had these really good baby burgers, and I mine and got avocado and some bacon, and then Haley got a fried egg, what I should have got because it's actually breakfast time, but we're going to eat this, and then we stopped at a market, and I got bamboozled, but got all these bracelets, <laughs> <laughs> and then I also got this one, but I'm going to wear them for shoots. I think they're really pretty, but after we finish here, we're gonna go do some more shopping and then cry at the end of it, so. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. What's up, today is Sunday and it is almost seven in the evening. Yesterday when I came back from the mall, I realized that I left my phone in the Uber. So I had a huge, just like meltdown, um, trying to see if there was any way I could get it back. But a uh, long story short, the Uber driver did bring it back to me, which the Uber driver I had today told me that was unheard of. So I'm just so grateful to God that I got it back. Um, so I just wanted to rest. I don't want to pull out my camera or anything. I just needed to like breathe. Same with this morning, I just wanted a break. Um, I had to go pick up a dress from Zara that I had ordered for a shoot on Tuesday. And then after that, I just came back home and took a nap because my head was hurting really bad. My body and my mind and everything is still trying to adjust here. Um, but anyway, me and my friend are going to go head to dinner. She had a photo shoot this morning and said that the photographer told her about this place called Cafe Caprice. And apparently it's where 
all the cool kids go on Sunday evening so we wanted to like check it out so I decided to put on my new dress um, and then I'm just wearing my wands and then my bracelets that I get from the market also at Zara they had these shoes on sale for like 23 bucks and I was like ah these are great for photo shoots so I'm still just trying to get a few more pieces to shoot in and then I'll just continue to like take stuff back and use that money to buy more stuff to shoot in but shoes are a little harder to take back so I'm trying to just like keep the price point really low with um, shoes I'm trying to figure out some type of business venture to do while I'm here because I'm not making a steady income so right now I'm honestly um, like this because I'm just like how am I supposed to pay bills how am I supposed to do this how am I supposed to do that I can do a separate video about what um, it's really like being a model and like financially how it is because it's not what people think it's really like the model has to upfront the cost for her career so it's frustrating but I took a leap of faith on myself because I believe in myself so I believe that the um the leap is going to pay off but in the meantime I'm like this <laughs> but if you guys have any ideas of like things that I could do while I'm here to make money please leave them in the comment section below something I was thinking about was what I usually do when I go overseas I like take pictures of things uh, to, and send them over to like clients that I used to work with it's like exclusively sold overseas and then I'll just charge them like a small premium so I can get some money and sometimes I have to purchase another luggage and then purchase the luggage to be checked on just to bring the item back but so for a lot of people I know exclusivity is like most important and they are willing to pay a premium to have that but let me finish getting myself together I just put my hair in a bun last thing we're in the midst of low shedding and this is the fourth load shedding we've had in the past 36 hours and I feel like this is the most I've experienced load shedding so far it's too hot to not have the fan working or like no lights being turned on so I don't know if I'll ever be able to adjust to that anyway I'm gonna stop rambling and let's go to Cafe Caprice So Cafe Caprice was actually like a little club so we just grabbed a drink the owner paid for us and after we finished our drink we just grabbed some dinner from the place next door but I'm going to end the video here hope you guys enjoyed and until the next one ciao I want to thank me for doing all this hard work 